Time's now 714, and a recent study shows high blood pressure complications are on the rise for pregnant women. American Heart Association volunteer and OBGYN from LCMC, Dr. Brian Anderson, joins us to talk about what expectant women or women uh, who are trying to become pregnant should be doing to increase their heart health during pregnancy. Good morning, Dr. Anderson. How you doing? Good morning. How are you today? I am doing wonderfully. So talk about the importance of heart health, especially as it's concerned with pregnancy. So the heart is very important in a regular person, but especially in a pregnant person, because when you're pregnant, your body is working over time to grow this baby. And the pregnancy state is kind of like a natural stress test on your body. So if a man is having heart issues, he goes to the cardiologist, gets on a machine, that's a stress test. Well, we do that for nine months straight. So we want to be sure that our heart is in a good condition to handle these things. And so what kind of things should women be doing? And we had a chance to talk before we started our conversation here. Uh, again, women who want to become pregnant and pregnant women, what should they be doing? What can they do uh, to ensure their heart is healthy throughout the pregnancy? Sure. So what's really important is making sure you're taking the best care of yourself. So making sure you are exercising regularly, making sure you're eating a healthy diet, making sure you're meeting with your primary care doctor or your OBGYN to determine what your risk factors may be. For instance, black women are about twice as twice as common to have high blood pressure compared to other women. Black women also are about two to three times more likely to have a cardiovascular complication during pregnancy. So race is a big factor. Obesity is a factor. You want to make sure you're at your most ideal weight. Um, things that also predispose you to having heart problems like besides high blood pressure, but diabetes, if you have a history of stroke or a history of a heart attack, and then also age. As we get older, this risk also increases. So talking to your doctor, making sure you do preconception counseling to kind of idealize those things. And if you are at risk when you are pregnant, you want to make sure you have a multidisciplinary approach to your care. So not only having an OBGYN, but also having a primary care physician or cardiologist that need be, and then a maternal fetal medicine doctor as well. And the one thing you mentioned, pre you said preconception counseling or conception yeah. counseling. That's, that's a term I'd never heard before. And I'm sure there are a lot of women who haven't either and don't, because they don't know, don't take advantage of that. Can you quickly talk about what that counseling consists of? Sure. So if you're thinking about getting pregnant, it's always a good idea just to kind of touch base with your OBGYN. So when you go for a preconception visit, we sit down, we talk about your medical history, the medical history of your family, if there's any genetic factors that also play into this. If you're taking medications, which ones you should continue, which ones you should discontinue, which ones you should change, which ones you should start, like taking prenatal vitamins or making sure you have a folic acid on board um, and making sure things are just kind of ideal for this extra stress that's going to be placed on your body for nine months. Your body and your heart, as you just mentioned. Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for your time. Some really good tips and reminders. And uh, you mentioned the American Heart Association, a great resource uh, for information on all of the things we just discussed. Again, thank you so much for your time. All right, have a good one. You too.